right? They want to draft you into their army so you can fight for this wicked place, man, right? No, we don't give a damn about America. Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible, brother? Hey, come get a Bible verse, King, right? Nobody want a Bible verse, man. Everybody want to go up and down Glenwood Avenue and have a good time, man, right? Right? Nobody wants to deal with the men of the Lord, man, right? We ambassadors out here giving you a good message, man, right? We telling you to get away from your enemy, right? We telling you to, to put on that spirit of righteousness in these last days, man. Right. right. To love your own people, man. Right. Why when we come out here and teach to love our own people, it's a problem. Right. Don't Esau love his own people? Right. Don't he got his own little cities and towns all across America? Right. But anytime we build up a town, they damn destroy it, man. Right. And then we build up Detroit. Then we build Baltimore. Right. Then we build Greensboro. Right. right? Chicago. Right? Didn't they destroy Tulsa, Oklahoma? Hey, if you do the studying on Wilmington, we literally built up Wilmington, North Carolina, man. Right? And they came out there, they got mad because they seeing Jake doing all the inventions, building up, building all his city up, right? And they came in there and, and then took it from our people, man. Right. Right? Brother, come get a Bible verse, King. We out here for you, man. Right? We out here for the children of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. right? We out here to tell them to consider their ways, right? To get out of the ways of America, right? Because Donald Trump is a damn dummy. Right. And Kamala Harris wants you aborting your kids, man. Right. Right? Hey, brother, you got a minute for a Bible verse? What's going on, brother? Hey, you believe in the Bible, King? Huh? huh? You know of it? Have you ever heard that God has a chosen people? Right? Do you know God has a chosen people, brother? And I'm led to believe that you're one of them, you're one of them uh, tribes. Do you see yourself on this sign, King? Right? The big letters is what the, uh, the Bible calls us, and the small letters is what the nations call us. Right? So you got so-called African Americans, you got, you got West Indies, you got Haitian, right? You might be from the Latino tribes, you might be a so-called Native American. What would you consider yourself, King? Uh, my mother's Your mother's what? Your mother's Cherokee? All praises. And what did you say your father was? Omanet. So do you know that the so-called Native Americans go back to the children of Israel? Did you know that, brother? I'm, I'm just saying world... No, 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 no. We build, we build... I'm just saying worldly terms that we all know, right? Because we're not Native Americans. I would be a so-called Native American, right? From the, from the Tuscarora tribe or the so-called Lumbee tribe about 60, 70 miles uh, south from here. Did you know our people had to hide in swamps, brother? Did you know when these pale-faced devils came in here? I was just looking at that history, right? Our people had to run away from these devils and hide in swamps, man, right? right? Did you know we lived clean in America, man, right? We was healthy, strong. Right, so what we're, what we're out here teaching is that so-called Native Americans, right? Indigenous, however you want to go into, are the children of God, right? Hey, when they came over here and studied us, how we were wearing fringes on our clothes, how we had a healthy diet, right? How we practiced the laws where if your brother died, you had to take care of his family. You see that? How we were a sacred people, how we celebrated the new moon, right? Hey, give me Matthews 5 and 13. Give me all uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Wake right? him up. Read a couple Bible verses for the brother, man. Right? We, pe we appreciate you waiting. And being patient with us and listening to the word, brother. Because we out here to wake our people up, man. Because civil unrest and madness is getting ready to break off in America. War is getting ready to come to this place, brother. So we have to gather ourselves together. We have to be in that Zephaniah 2 and 1 spirit and gather ourselves together with our own nation. Right? Read what you got, King. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art in holy people. What the Bible say? For, For thou, thou art in holy people. The Bible says we're a holy people. That's right. The word holy means kadash or it means separate. Right. right? So we're different than all these other nations. Right? Aren't we the best inventors? Right? Didn't we invent the stoplight? Didn't we invent the refrigerator? Right? Didn't we invent the steam press? Right? Didn't we invent everything, brother? That, and they try to hide that. Right? Like the elder be going into... They had the money and the patents, but don't you know we invented the automobile? We invented the telephone, right. right? Don't we still to this day, isn't it evident that we set all the trends in America, right? Don't they try to be like us and imitate us? Don't they try to use our slangs and dress like us? You see that? Don't we just have a special spirit to us? You see that? 
for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. No, brother, read that again. We just normal people like everybody else. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. And the Bible says we're special people, right? We're greater than these, all, all these other nations. Like we said, man, God only has one set of uh, chosen people. God has a chosen people, man. Don't you have a favorite pair of shoes that you like, right? Don't you got like a certain song that you like? Don't you got a favorite meal that you cook that's your favorite meal? Don't you got favorites? You used to? Well, I'm just speaking for myself. Right. 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 Hey, but you know what, man? The crazy thing is God can have an ego because he created everything. Right? right? right. Hey, is there unrighteousness with God? Uh -huh. God forbid, man. You see that? So the Lord, he can be ego. He can be jealous because he created everything. He created sun, earth. He created us. Right? He put a special spirit in us. It's good. Right. And the Bible says God created all that. Right? The Bible says the Bible says God created good and evil. You see that? He created the, the, the most high God, he created everything, brother. Is there more on that? Bring it out. <laughs> the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. No, we're equal to. Above all people. No, we're equal to these damn devil Christians that try to steal our religion. Above, above all, all people. people. The Bible says we're above all people, brother. That's right. You see that? Hey. Hey, isn't it evident, man, that the people on this sign are the salt of the earth? Right. Didn't the Lord call us the salt of the earth? Right? Aren't we better than these Persians? Aren't we better than these Iranians? Right? right? Aren't we better than these damn East Indians, man, that put our people in slavery right. during the time of King Xerxes and Esther? Right? And we're better than all these other nations, man. Right? But we've been taught for so long that we're equal to them. Right? right? We have that oppressed mind state. We've been oppressed so long in America, the land that our forefathers came over here and damn and were given, man, and we came over here and discovered this, right? We're still being oppressed by these damn people, man, right? For so long, man, they tell us to love everybody. But did you see how the young brother just got hung? Have you seen that on the internet yet? The brother in Henderson, North Carolina, about 50 miles from here, got hung, man, right? We still get, hey, uh, can, can you show him that sign, King? Right? Hey, brother, this, this is still happening to us to this day, brother. Right. Hey, when you get a chance, Google Henderson, North Carolina, and still to this day, this is going on, man. Right? We was talking about this before you walked up. No other nation goes through that, man. Nobody else had to do that. Nobody else was putting on cargo slave ships, right? Packed, on, packed together on cargo slave ships, man. You see that? Yeah, bro. It was more so prison of war. Only our people's done like that, man. Right? Y'all y'all put us on cargo slave ships, man. Right. right. And we're getting ready to rule this damn nation, man. Right. That's why our brothers from Venezuela are tearing this place up. Right. right? That's, right. That's, That's why right. our Levite brothers is tearing this place up, taking over Ohio, right. taking over all these uh right. right, taking over all these cities and states, man. Hey, that's the that's the doing of the Lord, man. Right. The children of Israel are growing mighty in this place, man. You see that? We grow, hey, we grow mighty in this place, man. Hey, read that Matthews for me. This is the book of Matthew. Let me read it for you. I got you. 5 and 13. Look it out. Ye are the salt of the earth. What the Messiah say about us? Ye are the salt of the earth. No, we just regular people. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing. But to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. See that, brother? So we have to realize who we are, right? These are the words. Of who the wor these are the words of, of the man who they call Jesus Christ. Right. Who did you know Jesus? And hey, we 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 share a brother that sign. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, get to your question right quick. I just wanna I wanna land this point right quick. This is the image that they give us. You see that? Ah, uh, what's your name, King? Yahshua. All praise to the Most High, man. All praise. That's a Hebrew name, right? In modern terms, that would be Joshua. So me and you got the same name. You see that? Right? But in the Paleo-Hebrew, it goes back to Yahawashah. 
right? Right, right, right. Hey, we are trying to get back to our ancient ways and customs. So I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and hey, that's powerful. That's powerful, man. That's powerful because we all been given a slave name, right? Huh? Khan, Khan, get that for the king, right? Hey, what was your question though? You got a question? Yeah. Right? What does it mean? Good question. Good question. And hey, you got that in Genesis 32? Right. Right, but according to the Bible, according to the Bible, check it out though. Let me answer you. Right, no doubt. Come on, come on. The brother got some wisdom. All praise to the Most High. That's right. We all got 80. You know what? That's Psalms 82 and 6. And the Messiah reminded us about that. But the Bible says to the word and the testimony, we have to speak by the oracles of God. Right. I can tell you anything. Just walk with me for a second. Right? Because we can't walk together unless we're agreed, right? right. So right, right. I'm just I'm just quoting scripture, right? So I can't give you my own interpretation because 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 that because that's my own interpretation. I have to give you I, I want to give you the minutes, biblical definition. Minutes. May the words of the Lord sister. Uh, not more so he or she the source. Right. Right. Right, but we have to get we have to get the biblical record, right? We have to get the biblical record of it, cause I can tell you anything, right? And then and you could go. You, he's not the author. The author is the Most High God. Right. Did you know? Did you know King James was a so-called black man? Do you know about that history of the Stuarts? I don't know about that, brother. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You got that precept? Let's, let's read Let's read to the brother what the name Israel means. The biblical definition, not, not Shapar's understanding, right? But the biblical definition of what the, Isra uh, the word Israel means. It's the book of Genesis chapter 32. Start at 28. 28? God, verse 28. Break it out. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. What the Bible said? But Israel, what's Israel mean, King? For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. You hear that, brother? Hey, you know about the children of Israel, brother? Hey, come bear with us. So Jacob had to wrestle an angel to get that name. Right, right, right. Or Yaquab, however you want to pronounce it, right? We like to go back to the root words, so we go back to the Paleo Hebrew, right? No E's, no I-O's, no V's. You see that? Back to the back to the to the original language, right? So the Bible says the word Israel, which was named Jacob, but his name was changed to Israel. The biblical definition is Prince of Power. For thou is a prince of prince with God. You see that? That's what that means. The word prince mean, goes into sons, right? And the word God goes into power. So the Bible is literally saying that you are a son of God. That's right. You see that? Right? Actually, there's two people mentioned as the light bringer. Right? Huh? Who are who the enlightened people? Right? What first of all, what is the light? What is the light? Give me Proverbs uh, 6. Let's see what the light is. Right? Because you bring it up some good points, right? But we have to understand what the light, the light is, right? Okay, okay. Okay, you say you have a right. right, 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 right. All praises. All praises. Let's see. Let's read what the light is. The book of Proverbs, chapter six and verse twenty-three. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So the light. Hold on. Let me, let me land my plane. I'm gonna let you go. Right. Right, right, right. Hey. 
So, <laughs> oh, oh, like pray, that, like oh, hey, you need to be over here with us, brother. You need to be, hey, you need to, you need to be in that, you need to have spirit of gathering yourself together with us, man. But according to the Bible, right, the light is the laws of God. The universal laws that God gave to man, but especially to the children of Israel. Right? All this other knowledge and wisdom is nothing compared to the laws of God. Right? And check this out. He gave us the laws how to eat. He told us what clean what clean and wasn't clean. He told us how to deal with our brothers and sisters. Right? How to respect one another and love one another. Right? That's one of the greatest commandments. Right? He gave us high holy days and feast days and told us how to quote unquote like party and how to do and how to party in righteousness. How to how to how to enjoy ourselves in righteousness, right? He gave us civil laws, ceremonial laws, right? All the knowledge and the wisdom is nothing to the wisdom and knowledge of the most high God. Right. Hey, the Lord said in Deuteronomy the fourth chapter that according to the knowledge and wisdom that he gave us, all the other nations will look at us and say, surely that is a wise and understanding people. You see that? So we were given the wisdom and knowledge to, to, to rule over these other nations. Adam, who they call Adam, he was never supposed to deal with these other nations, right? He was the first civilized man that was given the understanding of God, right? So we were never supposed to blend in and deal with these other nations. According to the wisdom of Solomon, the Bible says righteousness is immortal. We was never supposed to wait to know the ways of these other nations. Solomon, come. That's a, and that, that's that brother's forefather. That's his brother's forefather. The mighty tribe of Judah. Huh? What's that? Solomon. Right, right. Solomon, right. Hey, we the only, right, all praise. We the only, hey, the brother was bringing that out last week. Hey, we're the only people with souls, man. These other nations don't have no souls. That's why they drop bombs on people like that. Right? Hey, they don't have the salt and the juice that we got, man. Huh? Right? What are the other nations doing that we're not doing? I tell you what, hey, Job 9 and 24, that's what they're doing. Hey, you know I'm going to go back. I'll explain that to you. My, my, uh, what they doing? Right. All praises. All praises. Right, right, right. That's right. Hey, that's powerful, man. Give it up for the brothers. Clap it up for the brothers. That's powerful. Hey, you believe in the Bible, Tim? Hey, stay here and build with us, man. Right? You got Joe? Or Bill, what you got? This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 7. Remember the days of old. What the Bible say? Remember the days of old. Hey, do you know in the ancient world we was kings, brothers? Right? Do you know we were kings and we ruled this place? Do you know our forefathers go back to King Solomon? What's going on, brother? You believe in the Bible? Come build with us, King. Hey, do you know our people rule this earth, brother? Do you know King Solomon ruled this earth at one time? All these other nations were subservient to him. Do you know we go back to King David, right? Hey, do you know who the world calls Jesus Christ? Probably looked just like you, brother. Have you ever heard that knowledge, right? Have you ever heard the Israelites? All right, brother. Never heard that before. Right, brother. Hey, can we read you a couple Bible verses? Oh, uh, praise. Hey, give me, uh, give me Revelations, man. Give me Revelations. Give me the image of the Hamashiach, Yahusha. And, and, and let's see that sign, right? Hey, so in church, right? This is the image we was given to as Jesus Christ. But is there a Bible verse that tells us that Jesus looked like that? Right? Is there any Bible verse that say that Jesus looked like a so-called European? You don't believe that, right? You don't believe that, right? And why don't you believe that? Let me ask. That's not the color of the skin of the people that we are. That's not the color of the skin of the people that we are. So what did he look like? Well, what did he look like? Person. I don't agree with that, but who am I to say that their beliefs are wrong? I can believe what I want to believe, and 
All right, so let me prove to you why his image matters, right? That's let me right. prove to you, right? So y'all walk with me for a minute. What's your nationality, brother? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, right? What does the word Puerto Rican mean? You don't know. So you, we, we call ourselves something we don't know. You understand that? This is why this matters. The word Puerto Rican, and you speak Spanish? Of course. Okay, so you should know that Puerto Rico means rich port, right? Puerto means door or port, and Rico means rich. You see that? So I ask you your nationality, and, and we don't even know where we come from, right? We don't even know that. Me, I will be labeled as a so-called Native American. You see that? But the word America goes back to a white man, white man named America Vespucci. You see that? So this image, and why we don't know that, uh, our, our, our nationality has all to do with this image, because this is a, a systematical racism that our people go through. You see that? We don't know the image of Jesus Christ. We don't know that he was one of our ancestors. You see that? We don't know that history. Some of us call ourselves black, right? But is there a country in the world called black? Where do so-called black people go back to, right? Af what country in Africa, right? What country, what country in Africa does so-called black people go back to? This is why this matters, because what, you know who this is? No, this, really, hold on. Really why does it matter? I'm, I'm telling you why it matters. Do you know what country you go back to? I, I am Native American, I am German, I am English, I am Now look at that, this is why this matters. I'm gonna get to your precept. But she knows exactly what country she goes back to. She knows she goes back to German and French people, right? If I'm Native American, I know my forefathers didn't, weren't always in America, you understand? But I just, also, also Native American. Right, 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 but what I'm saying is, there's people out here that know where they go back to, but our people don't know where they go back to. Right? Where do Native Americans go back to? But if we collectively agree that Jesus was not white, right? But if you we said, collectively agree, I agree with that statement as well. Right. Why? Why does it matter? Right. I don't know. It, it matters. No, 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 no. It, it matters. So you're in total, hey. You're in total. No, I'm seriously. You want to have a genuine conversation, and I would like to engage, but I'm not over talking. It, I it, feel like you're going around, and I just feel like you want to listen. get to the I'm trying to, all right, listen, it, it, just be patient. No, I'm going to be patient. Come on. This is John 7 and uh, Con 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. See that? So now, Got it. So, 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 just to break that down, we have to believe in the Messiah according to the scriptures. You understand that? Revelation one and thirteen, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. You see that? So, this is going into the details of who the world calls Jesus Christ. His head and his hands. Were white like wool. What the Bible said? His head and his hairs were white like wool. So let's play baseball. You get three strikes and you're out. Is that white woolly hair? It's not. As white as snow. Right. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And we know he doesn't have eyes, flames of fire. Because the prophecy said that the Messiah would have red eyes. Right? His first miracle was changing water to wine. And, and it's also symbolic and spiritual that he's angry what's going on with his people in these last days. Right. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now what color is brass? What color is brass? It's the color of this brother right here, like a copper complexion, like a derivative of brown. Bronze is a derivative of brown, right? And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. What the Bible say about the Messiah? As, As if, if they, they burn, burn in, in a, a furnace. furnace. So the, the Bible saying that Jesus Christ's feet was so brown, it looked like he burned in a furnace. You understand that? Right. But wait, the point I want to try to make to you is that you have people out here, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. You have people out here that know who they go back to, right? And you have people out here that don't know who they go back to. You have people that 
out here, they don't know that they go back to the ancient Israelites. You see that? And, and we're going into the description and the image of the ancient Israelites. What we're out here teaching is that the people from this sign go back to the ancient Israelites. And the people, the people on this sign are all given the names of their oppressor. All these people were given names of so-called white people, right? Puerto Rico was conquered by who? The Spaniards, Spaniards, right? They called themselves conquistadorians, right? We never called ourselves Puerto Ricans. We never called ourselves Native Americans. We never called ourselves black. So the reason we're saying it matters what this image looks like is because we don't know who we are. Right. They, they, these Europeans, they know they go back to uh, Germany, which they took that land anyway. Right. But they have a heritage that they go back to. Right. There's only a certain people in the earth that don't know their heritage and their nationality. Right. Check this out. It's the book of that, Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Other and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. I see see that yes. So there's only a certain people out here that don't know their heritage, that don't know their nationality, that don't know their customs, man. Right? You see how a woman tries to come up and over talk everybody? Uh, right. and kinda, I wasn't even dealing with her. She want to come in here and put her damn two cents into it and over talk the men of the Lord, man. Right? We trying to slow roll this thing and teach our people slowly. Right? Because there's only one set of people that don't know their nationality and their heritage. Right? Come. There's only one set of people that don't know their nationality and heritage. Right? But she, she talking about she's a damn Native American, man. That wasn't no damn Native American, man. That was a five dollar Indian, man, right? And try to over talk the men of the Lord, man, right? And you can't even slowly break this thing down, man, for our people, man, right? You see that? Hey, they, hey, hey. She said, oh, uh, what does it matter what his image is? That's that, that's that fake Christian Catholic doctor, man. What you got, bro?